Brought to you by Chesterfield. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed thanks to Accuray. They satisfy the most. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. going into hotel business before, Mr. Dillon. I think Mills is a man of enterprise. Hmm. Look yonder at him. Why, he's as proud as a new father, ain't he? Oh, it isn't every day a man builds a new hotel in touch, I always say. No. Hello, Mark. Chester. Oh, Mr. Mills. Yeah, it's going up pretty fast, isn't it? Oh, we've got most a month for it's finished, Marshal. Ah. Uh, how many rooms are you going to have? Fifteen. Could have more, but this is going to be a class hotel. Not some hay tent like... Jim Doby's Dodge House. Just, well, I'll bet he's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Doby's had monopoly in this town long enough. <laughs> You're right about him being jealous, Chester. He's already done everything he can to keep me from building. Oh? Oh, what's he done? Well, he tried to buy up all the good lumber in town, for one thing. Good lumber in town. Thought he'd leave me with nothing but a lot of warpy cottonwood. But I got on to him soon enough, and I'm building with the best, Marshal. All ash and hackberry. Uh, huh? Hi, oh, John. Uh, oh, hello, Marshal. He's scouting the enemy, I guess. Huh? Uh, leave him scout. He'll be out of business soon scouting enough. Scouting the enemy. <laughs> scouting the enemy, yeah. Yeah, looks like a town meeting we're about to have. How are you, Marshal? How are you, Joe, Mr. Doby? Coming along fine, Doby. Of course, it's only a little bitty hotel. Half the rooms, but twice the class, the Dodge House. You won't get my trade. Ah, oh, John. I've been in business too long. Oh, my God. What a figure. Who's your little friend, Doby? You'll never beat me, eunuch. Oh, You're John. getting too old. Old? Fine, Marshal. I'll eat the goose that fattens in your grave, Jim Doby. Yeah, not likely. Anyways, what do you know about the hotel business, Enoch? You won't last a month. Good question. Uh, now, look, you men, Dodge can use two hotels. There are plenty of trade here. Why don't you quit fighting each other? You're too scared of a little competition, Doby. You ain't slept for nights since I started building. You got a ranch to run, Enoch. That's enough for one man. You shouldn't be pushing on other people's territory. Well, you ain't going to stop me. I've tried to stop you, and I'll go on trying. All right, he's threatening me, Marshal. You heard him. I'm going to fight you, Enoch. I'm going to fight you all the way. So now, you better start staying up nights. Belongs in jail, Marshal. Doby's a hard one, ain't it? He'll give you a fight. But I don't think he'll do anything illegal. He won't, huh? Well, you wait and see. And it's going to be your fault for not stopping him now. The whole blame is going to be on your shoulders, Marshal. And I ain't going to let nobody forget it. Get that goddamn thing out of here. Oh, this is the loneliest jailhouse I was ever in, Matt. You and Chester don't spend much time here, do you? Yeah, we'll be around more often if you drive in occasionally. <laughs> I haven't got a license. Oh, I see. Well, you never did have. Well, that's one reason I'm going to live so long. I came by to tell you something, Matt. Oh? Yeah. 
Look out for this Christmas traffic. <laughs> Don't tell me that's around again. Yep. I met a guy at the Long Branch this afternoon. He didn't say much, but a man like that stands out like a white buffalo. Ah, oh, you can take him, Kitty. Joel Shank's a gunman and a crook. He isn't wanted that I know of, but he sure ought to be. Well, I didn't take him for a drummer. Oh. Well, I think I'll let him stay around a few days. See what he's up to. A drummer. Well, there are a couple of men with him, but it's hard to say if they're friends or if they just met. Oh, well, they're probably friends. Joel Shank never liked traveling alone much. Well, it didn't look like gunmen, Matt. They're just a couple of saddle bumps. Maybe I'm wrong, then. Well, thanks for telling me, though, Kitty. Mm. How's Enoch Mills' hotel coming? I haven't been by there lately. Oh, they got the frame up. Enoch says it'll be another month anyway. Huh? Jim Doby been letting him alone? Well, he keeps prodding him pretty hard. I guess those two will never get together. Not the way they're going. Oh, oh. Dr. Beckett. Mr. Jones, I stuck on my knee again. Oh, Miss Kitty. Was it something scary, you, Chester? No, oh, worse than that. Oh, what is it? New hotel's on fire. On fire? And old Enoch saying Jim Doby. Oh, my knee's killing me. You better get down there, Mr. Dillon. Rex Corey, a bucket brigade had been formed. There wasn't much to do but get in line and form a circle. Even while we worked, I could tell the fire had been set and that the wood had been soaked with kerosene. It was all over in a half hour. And not because we'd put it out. There was nothing left to burn. The next morning, I went back and had a talk with Enoch. He'd already bought more lumber and had his workmen busy cleaning up. This ain't going to stop me, Marshal. It takes more than arson to stop Enoch Mills. I guess there's no need to ask you who you think did it, is it? Well, Jim Doby, of course. You know that as well as I do. You don't have any proof of that, Enoch. I got what proof I need. And if you was anything of a lawman at all, Doby would be in jail right now. I can't arrest a man because you and he are enemies, Enoch. Well, it don't matter. I ain't counting on you no more. I got other ways. Hey, coming right there, Marshal. You mean Gil Shank? That's right. He seen me after the fire last night, and he offered to go to work for me. What do you need a gunman for, Enoch? <laughs> that makes you sit up, don't it? You and Doby both. You bet it does. Uh, Marshal Dillon. Well, now, this is a pleasure. He uh, knows you're working for me, Shank. I told him. Just Shank, Enoch? What do you mean? Is he the only one you hired? I'm alone, Marshal. That's what you're driving at. You're making a bad mistake, Enoch. You don't need a man like this. I could take offense at that, Marshal. Well, you just let me know when you decide, huh? I'll let you know. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's huh? yeah, you've been listening to each other again, I can tell. You won't do a thing to Jim Doby, either one of you. You're protecting the criminal, Marshal. But it ain't gonna work. Shank's got a plan. You said you was going to figure something out, Shank. You done it? Well, Enoch, what with the law being so loose around here? <laughs> we got to protect your hotel. <laughs> hey, and that, that goddamn shrimp curry does it every time. <laughs> How many riders you got out at your ranch? Oh, about 20. Well, I want 15 of them. You what? I want him here in Dodge. We're going to put a guard around this building 24 hours a day. I can't spare no 15 men, Shank. Who's going to watch the store? You ain't moving <laughs> cattle. <laughs> of course not. Well, then five riders are enough for that. You want this hotel to go up or don't you? All right, I'll send for him. Say, oh, ain't that 
No, that ain't John. That's Jim Doby over there. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Little Jim Doby. Come to enjoy his dirty work. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank what, Marshal? It's the first sign of any of your dirty work. I'm coming after you fast. Bye. Oh, Christ. Morning, Marshal. <laughs> Don't be. I suppose I'm getting the blame for this. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, why aren't you arresting me? I've known you for a long time, Toby. You're big at it, and you can be downright mean. But you don't fight the <laughs> You make it hard. I don't know what the fuck I'm laughing about. You can thank me by laying off Enoch Mills for a while. There's going to be enough trouble without your making any. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing ain't gonna happen after all, Mr. Dillon. Why? I mean about old Unit Mills' hotel. <coughs> oh, John. Uh, everything is purely pawn peaceful. Oh, well, 15 armed guards spelling one another day and night, it ought to be. I didn't see that fellow Gil Shank around yesterday. Oh, Enoch said that he rode down to Tuscosa. But <laughs> for to hold up the bank? <coughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Here comes Mr. Botkin. Oh? Huh? Morning, Marshal. <coughs> Morning, Chester. Your dog's running away. Morning, Chester. Hello. Morning, Mr. Watkins. Uh, you look dressed for traveling. Well, a banker doesn't do all his work hand. behind a desk, Marshal. I've been looking over some land up north the last couple of days. How'd you have a good trip? Fine, except for crossing the Pawnees. It was almost in flood. How'd you make it? I was mm. lucky, Chester. Some cowboys were taking a herd across, and they gave me a hand. Swimming a herd across the pony this time of year? <laughs> yes. They must have had a fight in the head, Marshal. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, who was it? I don't know anybody moving cattle now. Well, they were strangers to me. Oh, what was the brand? The brand? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not much of a brand reader, Marshal. Uh, you think you could draw it for me? <laughs> uh, over here in the dirt, Mr. Buck. <laughs> Here's a stick. Yeah. Now, what did it look like? Well, there was a circle here. At, Father who? And a line through it. Like this. It, oh. it stopped just about here. Why, everybody knows that brand, Mr. Botkin. Everybody but me, I guess. Where would they be taking those cattle, Marshal? Well, they one place, the Greystone Indian Agency. is about 20 miles beyond there. Oh, well, they're going to sell them to the agency, eh? They won't get top prices, but it's always a fast cash sale. Now, Chester, what? go saddle three horses and tie them up behind the office and then wait for me. I'll be back after dark. <laughs> bringing me here this time of night for, Marshal. I got everything ready, Mr. Dillon. Good, Chester. You got everything ready for what? Well, I don't know exactly, Mr. Mills. Oh, I, I think you're both crazy. Here, that's no way to talk. Nobody ain't done nothing to you. All right, All right hold it, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose burning my hotel down was nothing? Oh, it wasn't a hotel. It was only just the frame of one. Is that about right? Chester, I'm beginning to think you and the Marshal are both in on it. <laughs> You're such big friends with Jim Dolby. You will believe most anything, won't you, Amy? Anything but what you tell me, Marshal Dillon. That's yeah, it that's true. <laughs> sure enough, true. Now, I'm getting out of here. I got nothing to say to you, and you I got nothing to hold it. say to me. God damn it. my ears. stronger than oh. you'd think. Don't know why I come in the first place. Now, wait a minute, ain't I? Marshal, make it faster. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm just going to try to explain something to you, but I can see that it'd be a waste of time. Are you all through? Oh, honey, I'm just getting started. Hey, what? Give me my gun, Marshal. No, I'll keep it for you, Enoch. Right here in my belt. Are you arresting him for something, Mr. Dillon? Not arresting him, Chester. I'm kidnapping him. <laughs>
Jack Mills was about as mad as any man I ever saw. But I managed to get him on the horse, and then he and Chester and I rode quietly out of Dodge. <coughs> Next day, we'd covered some 60 miles and were at Greystone Indian Agency. It was run by a man called Albert Leach, who didn't seem too bright, but at least I could tell he wasn't a grafter like most. I had a talk with him, and then I brought Ian again to meet him. <coughs> Come in, gentlemen. Come in. Have a chair. You give me a chair, mister, and I'll bash both your heads in with it. Now, really, Mr. Mills. How come you know my name? Why, Marshal Dillon told me. Now, this is Albert Leach, you He runs the agent. I don't care who he is or what he runs. He's got anything to do with whatever you're up to, Marshal. He's going to end up in jail, too. Oh, good heavens. Don't man. worry about it, Leach. Enoch was up all night, and I think it put him in a bad temper. Sure. Uh, Leach, I want you to tell him how many cattle you bought yesterday. One thousand twelve head. Uh-huh. And you paid... Fifteen dollars a head. Huh. And you robbed somebody. Any cow can walk's worth twenty dollars. <laughs> the government never pays over fifteen, Mr. Mill. That's why I don't sell to the government. We haven't got much time. Uh... Hello, John. <laughs> <laughs> Have you paid for those cattle yet, Leach? No. <laughs> the boss will be here any minute to collect the money. In fact, that that's that them riding him now. Oh, I'll pay him, Leach. We'll pull the other room. Yeah, I understand. All right, come on, Enoch. Oh, getting yourself in deeper and deeper, Marshal. <laughs> I've about decided you won't go to jail. They're going to lock you up in a madhouse. Quiet now, Enoch, and listen. <laughs> I'm a cattleman, not no innkeeper. Oh, you mean you're not going to finish it? Oh, I'm going to finish it. But then you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Jim Doby and ask him to run it for me. You think he'll do it, Marshal? Yeah, he'll do it, Enoch. And whenever you come to town, he might even let you stay there if you behave yourself. <laughs> star, William Conrad. Good night. Good night.